Definitely underrated. Not underrated, overrated. Oh, it's the drifter. I caught you, Guardian. I What's up, brother? Setting off after Aramis without a little warning first. What's that look? You don't survive as long as me without being able to smell trouble. And I'm I got you. You stink of it. What the heck? You've been cutting a swath through those pirates out there, but don't get complacent. Okay. Watch your opponent, but watch your back too. You're going after chunks of a dead disciple of the witness. Okay. Yeah. And you've almost got them all. That's some serious juju. The stakes are high. That's when folks tend to get unpredictable. Okay. Drifter is low key setting up some plot. Like that's if there isn't it. That's foreshadowing. There's 100% for lost sectors being used this time. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, which lost sector do I think this is? Oh, I think I already know this lost sector. Uh, yep, this is just, I think this. Yeah, I think this is the, uh, the lost, the, the distant shore lost sector. Yep, it is. Man, imagine. I think they used this once already, didn't we? We're using it for a second time? Can we at least be a little original here? What do we have? Bypass code, okay. So I'm assuming we're probably gonna need multiple of those, yeah? I hear Invisi Shanks. I'm not even taking a chance at it. see yeah not gonna be oh there's sniper shanks you have to be somewhat concerned now vertically challenged here get out of the way Oh, okay, we got the bi- Oi! Okay, we got the triangle. Very nice. Oh, hello. Really? I'm not gonna... Fine. Whatever suits your fancy. I'll play this game. Okay. Well, this has to be... Got it. Okay, well, that's great. I didn't. I wanted to actually hit. Oh, I hit her unintentionally. Not. Okay. Okay. Very nice. Who's my next opponent? Seriously? Oh, now it goes across. Okay. Okay, I got my thing, so it should be good enough, yeah? Not today. Oh, beautiful ad clear. Easy. Easy, bucko. Are you supposed to be a, you're supposed to be a challenge, huh? Yeah. 
And even Thunderlord can kill you. What a joke. That's it? That's all you could provide as a fight? Let me get that. Thank you. Good. Huh. Looks like Captain Kells found his inner pirate again. Perhaps it is what I am. And Aramis speaks the truth. Hey, now, I didn't say that. Nope. What's that Ido said to me? Aramis will fight forever to get rid of her shame. Maybe you did that for a while, too. But then you made a safe place for the Elixni. That's what Aramis wants. And she'll never get there. Ooh. What we do now matters more than who we were. The Drifter speaks kind truths. Miserax thanks you. Seriously, mi the Drifter has just become this white, like this chill, laid-back guy that's just speaking facts. He's like he's literally that uncle that used to be the party goer back in the day. Now he's just mellowed out. All right, what you got, Spooter? Huh? Good of you to visit, Captain. Yeah? Seems like only yesterday I loaned you my ship. And now you're known across the system. As the pirate, he roar. Flashy. Not my style. It's safer in the shadows. That's why they call you Spider. I learned that long ago. From a handsome young fellow named Rockus. He served the old crews for a time. Got double-crossed. Spent the rest of his life running. Eventually, someone claimed the bounty on poor Arrakis. He called himself... Spider. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. I see where you're going. Sammy. Sammy. Cast in a past. Bought a future. Walked away. Reborn. I never look back. Mm. Like you guardians do. Like my dear boy Crow. Like Mishrax. Pretending his old life never happened. Oh, he's changed a bit over the years. But the old fury is still inside him. Somewhere. It's best he not forget that. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> And it kind of sneaked through with uh, Aramis around. It kind of pokes out a little bit. Spire catches your eye. You and I, we've been through a Guardian. He sniffs. So enough with the formalities. He motions the engram before him. Take your pick. Okay. Spire barely reacts as you pull a powerful roar from the engrams. Lucky draw guard. He shrugs. Go introduce it to some pirates. I'll send up a flare when I get new engrams in. Turns away and bruises himself with his supplies. It's strange, Guardian, he says. Ido's voice over the radio. I have no energy surges to report. My instruments are working perfectly, but there was no recent interference attempted from the ether tank. I'm willing to speculate as to why. I'm unwilling to speculate as to why, but I'm pleased things appear to have resolved. Okay. Not a lot of comms going on today, I guess, but let's see what's going on in our world here. Oh. Each crew has a unique composition, pledges loyalty to the most powerful among their numbers. They fight for whomever promises them the most power or the most glimmer. They adopt whatever code of honor befits them and concern themselves with little beyond the present. Okay. A friend told me that these pirates are not as free as they seem, that their lives are fueled by desperation more than their own desires. But there is still the call of the open stars. These pirates sought to possess the relics of Nezarek. What else might they hold? Scribe Ido. Oh! Miss Kel, I greet you in the light. You are young and honor the old ways. So I will speak gently. Ooh. You say there are paths that never end. But these are also paths you cannot turn away from. Mizrax. He can. He is wrong. He and I will always be what we are. But we are not something you would wish to be. 
become. Ooh. You know what? I give props to Aramis because she's saying the exact same thing as Mithrax is yo You stupid. Why are you stupid young person? Why are you stupid? You don't want to be like us. We're messed up, man. We got pain. You don't want to know what what the whirlwind is You're dumb. That's what she's saying. You're dumb, but I'll kill you next time even though you're dumb. All right, let's place it and see what we got going on. I searched for information on Nezarek and the Cryptarchy's records, but most of the primary sources from that era were destroyed. What we know from second-hand accounts is that Nezarek led the Witnesses' first assault on Ooh. Earth, or as humans call it, the Collapse. After the Great Machine repelled the attack, Nezarek's pyramid crash-landed on your moon. Beyond that, the sources are vague. They hint at a process for harnessing the relic's power, but give no instructions. If we could replicate this ancient methodology, there's no telling what we might accomplish. She's gonna kill herself. She's gonna try to harness the darkness. That's exactly what she's gonna do. I feel like she's gonna try to do things her own. I'm calling it now. Mithrax dies and she goes crazy and takes the power for herself. And then... She gets consumed by the darkness because Aramis said, you know, unless you have the will, the, the strength to handle it, you're just going to melt. But she might just be melted into some kind of monster. Might exactly be what's going to happen. Just saying.